What's up everyone? I have something different for you today. I have two Japanese Super Dragon Ball Heroes promotional booster boxes. Because they are promotional boxes, there's only three cards per pack and I believe there's only 20 packs in each box. So with these, I don't think they're particularly valuable because they are promotional boxes. So they will have a P rating on the back. I'll put a little table up here somewhere to show you what the grade of the rating is. And yeah, it's just something different. So let's dive in. Okay, I'll start with this one first and we're just going to slow roll it today, people, because there's only three cards per pack and yeah, they're just really beautiful and I'll quickly run through with you the rarity scale as well. Essentially, the highest grade of rarity card that you can get is an SEC, which is a secret rare and basically it will be a white square with four stars on the back so this is a really stunning ss4 brolly and when you flip the card over so see how in the corner here it has a white background with four stars so that is the highest rarity card you can get with which is a sec and then we have a really stunning vegeta card and on the back so See how it also is four stars, but it has a black background. So that actually means it's what's called an ultra rare. So think of it as this is an SPR and this is a SCR. And then as the cards get more common and less rare, it's less stars. So the next one down would be a three star, two star, and then one star. And then there are P cards, which are promo cards and CP, which is competition promo, I believe. So with the promo and competition promo cards, they can be really stunning and beautiful, but I don't believe that they're of the same caliber as the ones with the stars on them, because I believe that you can only get them from the arcade machines in Japan. You can't buy them as booster boxes or anything like that. I think you can buy them as singles online if you can find a website that sells those type of cards. But other than that, they're really only exclusive to Japan from those arcade machines. So with a box like this, every single card will have a P on the back as a promo. So like I said, they aren't particularly valuable or too rare obviously because you can just buy the box but but there's still a card list that you get inside each pack so you can see the code of the card and how it matches up with the rarity of it and i believe that each set has its own mystery scr or sec so you have no idea what the card will be unless you pull it so there's that as well which is pretty cool Okay, so first up we have beautiful Android 17. Yeah, look at this foiling, guys. Absolutely stunning. The artwork on these Japanese cards, like I really am preferring them over the, the English version. So yeah, really looking forward to trying to hunt down more Japanese cards, definitely. Okay, so yeah, see, there was only three in each pack and this is the card list, so... I'll quickly show you. So this code is PUMS1301. So it's actually the first one off the bat. So see how it's the exact same code here. That's also on here. So we know that this type of card is an SR. So that's its rarity in case you are interested. So all of the cards that we'll get in this pack will have their corresponding rarity here. But then see here, there's an SEC, which has a question mark. So that's a true secret rare. Like you won't know what it is until you pull it. So really love that. Hopefully we can score it today. I don't know what the pull rates are for those type of cards. I'm assuming that they're probably pretty rare. So may not pull it today, but it's still fun to have a bit of mystery in these packs. Okay, so I hope that explanation helped. Um, I still am learning uh, a lot about these cards, especially the Japanese ones, but that is what I've learned so far and even just that bit of information has really helped a lot. 
so yeah i hope you guys find it helpful and if anyone can recommend a website or somewhere where i can possibly get maybe some of the uh singles as well uh, that would be really really epic and i like how with these japanese ones they actually create an extra long pack as well so that you actually have room to cut it at the top i have tried to open these like how i open the regular packs but it just uh, it just feels too risky and it's just not worth it so um with these it definitely is better to just cut the tab that's why they've made it extra long so that people can do that and then that way your cards are a bit more safer so yeah let's yeah these are absolutely stunning and yeah it's very quick to go through a pack because there's only three cards but yeah really stunning artwork i have to say in case you guys are interested these are some japanese sized sleeves that i use you can use regular sleeves if you like um, like these are the ones i regularly use for all my other cards but to have a japanese fit because japanese cards are smaller than the average card size it is helpful to just get more of a slimmer fit for them so this is the brand that i use ultimate guard and we have Zamasu again, the Supreme Kai of Time. Oh, and a beautiful Rose Goku. My, my, my. I think when it's this type of foiling, I think it's just a rare. Let me double check. So 1319. Yeah, 1319. Yep, it's a rare. So I hope that's helpful for you guys because it took me a while to figure that out. Got another Supreme Kai of Time. Oh, another Zamasu. Ooh, nice. An SS for Vegeta. Oh my, okay. Let's have a look. This might be an SR. So 1311, 1311. Yep, SR. Beautiful. Vegeta GT. Lovely. That is sick, bro. Oh, we got a beautiful Mai. Ready for action. Android 17. Oh, that's mad. An SS3 trunks. Ideally, I would just love to go to Japan again. Honestly, I am really hoping to maybe go next year if I can. But yeah, um, I went in 2016. It was the best holiday that I've ever had. It was actually my first time overseas as well, and I went by myself. First time on a plane, first everything. Um, it was insane. I was crazy to <laughs> um, go on such an adventure like that, but it was it was honestly the best time that I've probably ever had. So yeah, did a lot of really cool stuff and bought a lot of cool stuff too. But obviously now, oh, that's a beautiful card. My, my, my. Oof. <laughs> yeah, so knowing what I know now, I would love to go there and hit up more of their hobby stores and get some really cool cards and some really cool figures because they are just so much cheaper over there and better quality too with some of the brands so yeah really really hoping that i can get there again hopefully next year oh nice oh that's a dope rare card and i think i think you i don't know if it's a guarantee but you should get at least one or maybe even two URs, which is the ultra rare so that will be really sweet once i hit that <laughs> oh we got oob really nice wording here beautiful trunks of course oh yes yes this i already know this this is one of the ultra rares that you can get and if you notice it's the pack art so oh yeah this one is absolutely stunning oh my goodness 
Damn boy, look at that. And you can just see that there is a face in the background as well. But see what I mean guys about how these Japanese cars just hit different compared to the English ones. I mean, obviously there's a lot of English cars that are really, really stunning, but I love with the Japanese ones, they really aren't afraid to take up the whole card with artwork and just go crazy with multiple layers of foiling too. So yeah, really, really happy I got this one. And we have Gawasu, Android 17, and another Trunks SS3 rare card. All right, in this pack we have Pan, Vegeta with that evil mask thing. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Oh, nice! SS4 Goku. Oh yeah, this matches so well with the Vegeta SS4 as well. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely stunning together. Oh, we have our first Beerus card in this pack. Awesome. Dr. Jiro. Oh, nice! Yeah, this is also a very beautiful card in person. I don't even know if the camera is really doing it justice, but yeah, absolutely stunning. And oh, I forgot to show you guys. So yes, yeah, so see at the back here, it says P. So that means promo. So all of these cards will have the P on the back. So yeah, that's how you can tell it's from a promo booster pack. But then obviously you can use this card list to determine the rarity of it anyway because you know it doesn't specify in that box because it just says p but yeah that's how you guys can figure it out for yourselves okay we got my again boom and another goku with that evil mask thing <laughs> i forget what it's called i'm sorry guys android 17 Oob. And another Vegeta SS3 rare foiling. Actually, what do you guys think of the Daima series that's about to come out in, uh, I think, October or November this year? Are you guys into it? Are you guys not liking how it's looking? Um, let me know because I think last I heard it's more going to be like a web series similar to Super Indragable Heroes where there's only going to be maybe 12 episodes or something like that um, but of course it is the last project from Akira Toriyama himself before he unfortunately passed away so because of that I think it's still going to be quite special but um, I know that when the trailer released a lot of people weren't really into it but yeah we'd love to know what you guys think of that leave your thoughts in the comments below all right we have Janemba Boo oh wow that's actually really sick and Goku Rose yeah this one is absolutely stunning too okay so we only have two packs left I hit one ultra rare, but I don't know if I'm actually going to get another one. I think, yeah, it's either one or two you get in a box. Cool, SS3, Goku again, rare card. So, yeah, maybe it is only one per box, and if you want to get the other one, I think you have to try your luck and get another box, but you could get a duplicate, so <laughs> there's that as well. Okay, last pack. Let's see how we go. We have Pan. Let me shine that foiling for you. We got Boo once again. And this guy, I can't remember his name. <laughs> Is it Salsa or 
Eh, I can't remember. <laughs> Either way, it's a rare card and that was the last card and last pack. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed something different, a bit of Japanese TCG to mix things up a bit. So let's just take a quick moment to appreciate this beautiful ultra rare card. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you're interested in seeing more unboxings from me, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at Vorpal Bunny. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.